Now we have improved the Gleason grade, we come to the problem of the Gleason score. The big problem is this. Gleason score of 3 plus 3 equals 6 represents a cancer that will not likely progress, nor develop metastases, and this patient will not likely die of prostate cancer. Gleason score 6 is the lowest score doctors report. But, in a patient's mind, if 10 is the maximum score, a score of 6 out of a possible 10 is not harmless, but obviously greater than halfway up the aggressiveness scale. Despite advice that it might not be in his best interest, a man may be very attracted to immediate, radical treatment. The first proposal doctors came up with was not to call Gleason score 3 plus 3 cancer, but to give it some other name. The danger with not calling it cancer is that a man may think, I don't have cancer, I can forget about it. The problem here is the sampling problem. Any needle biopsy inserts tiny needles spaced across the prostate. Each needle samples only one ten thousandth of the prostate. This really small sample may have found the safe 3 plus 3 cancer, but there is a 25% chance that it missed a tiny, more aggressive cancer, which may grow to problem size in time. Doctors know that a program of carefully watching this man is necessary to make sure he stays safe. This program of active surveillance will typically involve monitoring PSA and periodic needle biopsies. It gives a man the best of both worlds, finding more aggressive cancers before they become a problem, while avoiding possible side effects of radical treatment, like incontinence or impotence, for years, perhaps for life. Epstein proposed a new system of grade groups where the least risky grade group would be one, and the highest risk grade group would be 5. Grade group 1 would now describe 3 plus 3 and replace Gleason score 6. Higher risk would merit a higher grade group. Gleason score 7 would be replaced by two new grade groups, grade group 2 for 3 plus 4, grade group 3 for 4 plus 3. This overcomes the problem that men had in understanding that all Gleason 7s were not the same. 4 plus 3 was more aggressive than 3 plus 4. Now they are clearly different groups. Grade group 4 describes 4 plus 4, replacing Gleason score 8. The top group, grade group 5, contains any 5. 4 plus 5, 5 plus 4, 5 plus 5, and replaces Gleason score 9 and Gleason score 10. So, Although it's a little complex to understand how the new system came about from earlier Gleason scores, the Epstein score is much simpler to understand. There are five Epstein grade groups. One is the least aggressive and five is the most aggressive. Thanks for watching.